Hey guys, welcome to the second match between Suricata and Naka. Upper left-hand corner, we have Suricata starting as the orange Protoss. In bottom left-hand corner, we have Naka as the purple Zerg. Once again, this is going to be on Infested August Grab, which I do not believe is a normal map at all in any league. Natural expansion here. In fact, I'm wondering if this is just Dead Infested Cup particular. Minerals on the high ground, infested Terran stuff in the middle. You guys get the general scope of it. Ooh, wait. Hold on. I'll zoom in on that Rhinodon. I wonder who started the trend of putting, like, low health, just, like, very low health uh, critters on maps just to kind of be out there so that people could attack them or not. Curious. Anyway. Initial Infested Command Center kind of floating out. I feel like this is one of those maps where it's advantageous to send out Initial Probe. Naka doing the confession of the blowing up the Infested Terrans. Did not realize... So that is one critical thing for Infested Terran enthusiasts out there. Infested Terrans do do splash damage to themselves. So it is much like a siege tank killing Marines. So if you end up, yeah, Suricata informing him, very manner of him, to educate him in the matters of Infested Terrans. Uh, currently, I'm going to give an advantage in this map to Suricata because I think he's going to be able to grab this base a little bit more rapidly. He's going to catch this one. It looks like I think both players are going to be able to catch these in the middle. Bob's guns before uh, pretty rapidly. Might be a little bit of an advantage for Naka, but it's not going to be enough where he's going to be able to capture a second Fest Command Center overall. But this one's going to come to play a little bit more rapidly. We're seeing a 12 hatch from Naka. It is a larger map, but this feels very brave. In the meantime, Gas has already been grabbed from Suricata. He's already got that Forge down, so going for more of the defensive play. And I'm wondering if he's going to scoot down to the south. So this Overlord's going to scoot down. Yeah, they're going to cross each other. And that will be an indication at least that he is to the southern portion of the map, and that should trigger, yeah, already an Infested Terran being built. I'm wondering if that was a an in, in the moment decision or if that was actually a micro decision. This command center being ignored by Naka overall is moving his own drone out. It looks like to go ahead and scout what's going on in the upper left hand corner. Initial photon cannon warping in, so I'm not sure how much it's going to get accomplished. Naka moving this infested command center towards his front door. It looks like he's drawing this one back to potentially create a little bit of a blockade. And we'll see if that ends up. It's not going to be a full seal as of yet, but maybe with a hatchery, he can create a bit of a front door seal and get an advantage that way, or at least put some Zerglings along the line to mitigate the surface area where Infested Terrans can en encroach on his base. Extractor up, spawning pool coming online. Two cannons already warping in before this drone's even able to... Where, I think this drone just a little bit confused. Not able to get the high ground. Infested Terran already walking into the main here for Suricata. Nice split here, but it looks like it is going to be... Well, maybe! Is it going to blow up? Okay, it lands on the hatchery and gets three drones with it, knock it down, down to ten drones. A little bit of a staggered spread, so it's not going to be a... I don't think that's even going to be a front door seal. Another Infested Terran moving up. It looks like this might be a quick one. Suricata continuing to pour on the pressure. Another Infested Terran is going to be here behind it. And it looks like, yeah, I can just walk that northern gap. Zerglings running to the natural to try to block that ramp. Not quite able to do so. Able to take that one down without losing their own lives or without significant damage, but Naka not blocking that upper gap once again. A little bit spread here, and there is another Infested Terran that's making its way this direction. This is still an unclaimed... Yeah, it looks like he's going to drop some creep colonies behind here, get his own defenses up, several Zerglings blocking that wall. Suricata trying to create a gap. Looks like he is going to find the gap. Is he going to explode? No. Just loses yet another Infested Terran on his front. So things kind of resetting. He's got another Infested Terran out, but he might want to think twice about just suiciding it in this time, especially with those two sunken colonies in production. Naka with a nice front door seal on the defense. Some Zerglings moving out, and honestly, if those Zerglings make it up to that base in the upper left-hand corner... Well, maybe not, because there is... Cybernetic score weapons 1 upgrading. Overlord spotting all of this. Looks like that infested command center going to lift off. I think... Where's that infested Terran? Not there. This is at least going to maybe catch a probe, breach that natural expansion. I think these cannons are sufficient to create a defense, but if they sneak to the north, they might be able to pick away at that assimilator. And that would be a crucial bit of infrastructure to take out of Suricata's hands. And it looks like they are, yeah, so it just barely reaches to the south. Probe's pulling off the line. Try to defend this, but that is going to cost them their lives. 
The Zergling's happy for that trade. And yeah, now Suricata at risk of losing his gas. And on an infested Terran map like this, that is crucial. Hydralis then also plopping down. A single Zealot out. Level 1 weapon's actually not that far away. And these Zerglings, uh, looks like they're, at the very least, they were able to get a couple probe kills. See if they, are those the two that survived? One has uh, a little bit of damage there. Still working on it. The infested command center is making their way back to go ahead and create a bit of a front door seal on the opposite corner of the map. And it looks like this is going to turn into a potential actual match. Maybe. As much of a match as it can be on uh, something like this. Looks like we are seeing a proxy hatchery from Naka at, what is this? So, that's that's noon, that's 11 o'clock, inside 11 o'clock. Pylon warping in, natural expansion warping in as well. Currently, probe count lead for Suricata. Let's see how long that lasts. But this could be a critical piece of... Uh, this plus some infested Terrans attacking the front, that could be critical. Also, I don't think I... I don't know what the hotkey is to get rid of that mini-map right there, but just trust me that there's an attack. You guys can see it. Hydral is working out against an Overlord in that bottom corner. Also, it looks like Suricata was able to sneak... was able to be a sneaky snake and get some additional infested Terran over that defensive line from that south corner. It looks like some Hydralisks are moving to the front. No Naka wants to go for a front deal, front door uh, bust with the Hydralisks. It does have Hydralisk speed. But in the midst of this, potentially we might have an early GG with Infested Terran right there. Attacking to the south. Cannons warping in behind this, but this might cost some Infested Command Centers. They're going to sneak through and peck away at this. The Zealots charging forward to try to push that back. These are level one weapon zealots, keep in mind. But this is a big grouping of Hydralisks. They do have that speed upgrade, and Naka now outproducing Suricata. This is a, enough of a bridge gap, though, that it's gonna take a while before they can get right on top of those cannons. Now that infested Terran, yeah, blowing up the hatchery at the main, which is definitely gonna stifle Naka's economy. But Naka still has a second base. Let's see if he's gonna go after the Hydralist then. That would be a critical piece. But Naka, Playing a little bit all inish at this stage, the Hydralists continuing to press forward, continuing to just produce Hydralists and nothing but Hydralists as they're approaching the main, knocking down that northern cannon, getting to that juicy probe line. The probe's trying to drill through. Looks like they are going to be able to escape the main, now trying to turn around and attack. But a lot of them getting wiped out in the midst of this. Yeah, Hydralists versus probes, that's not a fair fight. Overlord getting a little bit too feisty. Another infested Terran going to make its way down here, but keep in mind there's sunken colonies that maybe. Okay, one of them getting wiped out. Suricata with a defensive infested Terran. We're going to try to take out, looks like, just two Hydralists with this. The natural expansion looks like it's going to be breached. Still one cannon to the south. The second infested command center may not survive. Some distance mining drones returning to the main. But more Hydralists pouring in from Naka to Suricata's base. Let's see if Suricata can mount some sort of defense. He has a Stargate up, but not much else. He's down to just... 17 probes. Naka might have done another explosion, though, at the main, taking the hatchery down another sliver of health. Looks like it managed to get a handful of drones. He wants to try to win it with this proxy command center on location. Let's see if these Hydralists just start pouring into the front, because that might be GG right there. Overlord's retreating to the north for Suricata as well. Right now, Naka dropping down two more creep colonies on the front. I don't think he realizes that the infested command centers are coming from inside his base. Hydralis then, still sitting there, range trying to be upgraded before I think he wants to proceed. Mounting the Hydralis to the north. Hatchery takes another hit, but keep in mind there's still this proxy hatch right here. Stargate now getting pecked away at Citadel of Adun warping, and this might be a close one. It's going to come down to this infested Terran potentially taking down this hatchery versus how long it takes these Hydralis to wipe out everything inside Suricata's main. So these two Zealots... They're getting wiped out. Nothing left to defend except that can to the north. And there's pylons that are getting wiped away. That ha The hatchery's down. And now the drone's distance mining to the north. It looks like the Overlord does see the additional hatchery in the midst of this. But it's but Suricata, his base is breached. There's still plenty of Hydralisks here. If Naka continues to micro this well, if he just wipes out this cannon, wipes out that pylon. He's working on the forge right now. 
Honestly, I think he should ignore the forge, trying to rebuild his hatchery in the main. No additional infested terrans being built by Suricata. All he has to do is pick off that... Oh, just go after the pylon! There's, there's GG. Takes out that last cannon regardless. All right, so one game apiece to both these guys. We'll move on to the third game. I'm going to call this a championship, even though I don't think it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.